The last couple of videos we did about tuning and carb jetting and all of that, you notice that we were going through plugs. We were, you know, swapping plugs in and out of the engine trying to find the right distribution. And a couple of you guys were like, do you have to buy a new set of plugs every time you do this? No, you can go broke real fast. You know, plugs, a couple of plugs aren't very expensive, but when you keep cycling them through the engine in this trial and error thing, yeah, they can, they can add up. So let me show you real quick what I do with these. So for any performance engine that I have, I have two sets of plugs. I have a warm-up set of plugs, and the warm-up set of plugs are the ones that like I'll abuse. So, as you know, when an engine's warming up, they don't run quite right. You gotta blip it a bunch of times. Sometimes they stall. So you don't want to put a good, you know, fresh set of plugs in there. You want to use your used plugs. And when you're doing that 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 ballpark tuning, where you're just trying to get an idea of what's going on there, again, you don't want to have to use good new plugs for that. So I have two sets of plugs for for our engine over here, and so real quick this is our good set of plugs okay so these are these will only go into the engine after it's warmed up and when we're ready to make a run and you'll see on these plugs that each one of them is numbered per cylinder okay and you'll see here that what i did was i cut back the ground strap so that approximately half the electrode is exposed and then i gapped it like that so now these plugs will only go in the engine when it's going to get run okay now what about these warm-up plugs? Well, I don't bother numbering them, although I should in this case because we're doing, you know, I don't, I don't generally bother numbering them, but what I'll do is after, uh, here, this is, this is one of the dirtier ones, after it's run in and you can see how it carboned up that is, all right, there's only one way to clean a plug, and that's with fire. So, you stick the plug in a vice like that, Right here. I watch the ceramic part. Ready for another, ready for another read. Now, there are many methods of cleaning spark plugs. And some of you have, you know, the cleaning machines. Back in the day, every mechanic, every shop had a spark plug cleaning machine. And they're okay, but here's the reason why you always want to use fire to clean your plugs. If you've got a bad one, Okay, so you've got a bad one, and you chuck it up and hit it with heat. What you're going to find is you'll get a flame that will come from between the ceramic and the electrode. If you get a flame from between the ceramic and the electrode, that means that the space is great enough between those two for gasoline to get in there. And then when you, when you hit it with the heat, the ceramic expands, the gasoline inside goes to boil out and you'll actually get a flame come off of there so if you if you ever do that you clean up plugs like this and you get those little wisps of blue or, or yellow that come up draw that plug away it means that the clearances between those two are wide enough to allow the gasoline to get in there and that'll foul the plug from the inside and that, that's actually that's the cause of a lot of mysterious issues too because you'll have a car that'll have an intermittent miss and you look at the plug and you say well that's not fouled but it actually is fouled it's fouled up because it's grounding the, the, the plug between the electrode and the ceramic so there you go cost saving tech tip of the day clean your plugs with fire i'll see you tomorrow